Welcome to Coffee Break, Five Minutes with God, Five Minutes in the Word of God, Five Minutes designed to taste and see that the Lord is good, Proverbs chapter 12, beginning in verse 3, where God says, A man shall not be established by wickedness, but the root of the righteous shall not be moved. This is God's universe. He makes the rules. He doesn't just make them arbitrarily. They are based on his own perfect holy character. So if you want to get along in this world and you want to get along with your creator, then you got to play by his rules. Because you want to Want somebody in your house, in your life, close to you, if if they did not share your values. In fact, if they did things that were offensive to you. Well, God doesn't either. And so he says, A man shall not be established by wickedness, but the root of the righteous shall not be moved. A man shall not be established by wickedness. In other words, no one whose life is dominated by sin is going to have stability because a man cannot be established through wickedness. It just goes against the laws of nature. It goes against the spiritual uh, laws that God has built right into creation and into us. You will not be established through wickedness. You are not going to have stability in your life if your life is dominated by sin. You will have guilt and you will have turmoil on the inside and you're going to have trouble from the outside. But the exact opposite is true as well because notice three, but the root of the righteous shall not be moved. In other words, a child of God who lives for Jesus who reads the word, who prays, who lives in a way that is pleasing to God. A child of God like that will stand fast and they will flourish like a well-rooted tree. Let's go into verse four. A virtuous woman is a crown to her husband, but she that maketh ashamed is as rottenness in his bones. A virtuous woman is, in other words, a crown to her husband. That is, she gives her husband great joy. If you are a man of God and you have a woman of God who loves God and who will fellowship in the spirit with you, then you are a fortunate man indeed. Your wife gives you joy, a deep joy, a spiritual joy. A godly wife with godly ways will enhance her husband's life and he will be proud to be with her. He will be proud to show her off, as it were, like a king is proud to show off his crown. But notice... Again, verse 4, virtuous woman is a crown to her husband, but she that maketh ashamed is as rottenness to his bones. There are few things in this world that are more of a pain to a godly man than to have an ungodly wife. A man of God who is stuck with a backslidden or just plain old unsaved wife is carrying a load through this life that undergirds him with a sense of sadness no matter where he goes. It is easier for that man to stay home and spend time alone with God than to go anywhere with that wife. It's really unfortunate. That's the way it is. 
Study all of God's Word with me at thebibleversebyverse.com. If you'd like to be a part of Coffee Break, pray for me and God's Word. That makes you a part of this ministry. And when you take a break from studying with me at thebibleversebyverse.com, you can go to the front page, click the Donate button, and prayerfully give us the Lord may lead. That also makes you a part of this ministry. See you next time on Coffee Break.